Hello everybody, Golden Nashus Gaming here. Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Um, I'm not going to talk too much. We're just going to get right back into where we left off. Alright, so, um, we're gonna backtrack a little bit, uh, for this, um, series, I think I'm gonna have to really pay attention to the checkpoint, because you can't pick up, like, in the exact same spot hey, Sean, you leave, I'm gonna run so, my mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. you're okay I was worried it'd be bad here too been quiet as usual the past couple days old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame but that ain't nothing new I wouldn't have made it back without Chet well I'm glad you took him with you then you've brought a couple guests your boy's a lifesaver glad he could be a help to somebody so it's just you and your daughter then Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. 
Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Right then. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Claire. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you.
Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill, be kill. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with the family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. All right, so we're coming to a close on this episode, and I think this will wrap it up. So, I'll see you next time on The Walking Dead.